So as you guys may know, the solar eclipse is just a couple of damn days away. Two this weeks is no away. longer a game. Two weeks. Let me explain this photo to you guys. These two for lines those, right what here if on April 8th, 2024, two during the awe-inspiring moment of a solar eclipse, right here, the world experienced the biblical event eclipse. known as the rapture. As, rapture. as millions gazed upward to the marvelous and the Did you know that the solar eclipse happening on April 8th is a lot more crucial than you think? Jesus spoke about Matthew that this evil, adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign shall be given to it except... Is the eclipse a sign of the end of times? Is this the end of it all? Yes, I'm sorry to report it here, guys, but that is the truth. Good luck on the other side. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, but really, we have all been inundated with all kinds of reports, all kinds of social media, all kinds of TikToks and stories about how all these prophecies are being fulfilled and all these things about the eclipse are a sign. Well, let's look at a few of these examples of reasons that these are the end of days. Nineveh was described in the Book of Jordan as an evil, wicked town, and it was said the residents needed to repent to be able to reach heaven. Seven or eight towns named Nineveh in the United States are going to see a total eclipse. And this is seen as a sign that goodness is eclipsing the evil, and that these are the end of days, that goodness has finally reigned victorious, and evil has been wiped out, except not really. In fact, only two towns named Nineveh, Nineveh, Ohio, and Nineveh, Indiana, are going to see a total eclipse. All others will see a partial eclipse. Like so many other towns all over the continent, they will only see a partial eclipse. Some have pointed to other towns with biblical names being on the path to totality as a sign that these are biblical times. Except a simple Wikipedia search will show that there are many, many, many towns and cities in the United States with biblical themed names. The National Guard is coming into all these towns along the line of totality. People are being asked to stock up two weeks of food. Many are seeing this as an example that something massive and something incredible and out of this world is going to happen during the eclipse. You know, the truth is actually a lot simpler. The line of totality is only 70 miles wide. Many eclipse chasers and people just wanting to see this incredible event are traveling to these small towns. These small towns aren't equipped for so many people, so the residents are being asked to stock up just so they'll have enough food for after the eclipse. With such large crowds coming into such a small area, to crowd control and make sure nothing bad happens, they're just there to kind of help out and act as security. There really isn't anything sinister about it. So is this eclipse any different? Well, if we look over the 20th century, that's 1900 to the year 2000, there were 228 eclipses all over the world, many of which intersecting, creating crosses, happening at different times in different places and different locations, and none of them signaled the end of the world. Nothing bad ever happened. The eclipse is just a shadow caused by the moon onto the earth. It's nothing special, and it's nothing to be afraid of. The only thing you need to be aware of and be ready for is to make sure that your solar eclipse glasses are properly ISO certified. Eye protection, people. It's very important. Everybody, enjoy the eclipse.